guys, and welcome back to another art tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vase using a CD and a mason jar. The materials you will need are a paper plate or palette, some paint brushes, a glass, a mini glass mason jar or mini vase, a CD, a rag or paper towel, um, some 3D paint or puffy paint, some water, um, sandpaper, which is optional, and two colors of acrylic paint. I have princess pink and baby blue. Oh, and a hot glue gun. So what you want to do next is take your CD and sand, sand it down a little. Remember, this part is optional. I'm just, it's just to make the paint stick a little better. I'm just doing a little bit. So what I'm going to do next is take my first acrylic color and start to paint the CD. I'm choosing my baby blue color. Remember to shake your paint before use. Put a quarter size dollop of paint on your palette or plate. I'm taking a larger brush and just starting to paint. set my CD on my plate to dry. Now I am going to take my mason jar and um, I'm going to flip it over so I can paint the whole thing. I'm going to use my princess peak. Shake it and squirt a quarter size dollop on your plate. I'm going to take the same brush after I have rinsed it and dried it and start painting the mini mason jar. dry, we are going to glue the mason jar to the CD. If you do not feel comfortable using a hot glue gun on your own, get some adult supervision. 
Let your glue gun heat up now. Once hot, glue a circle around the bottom of the mason jar like this. Then set it down and push down lightly on the top. It will dry relatively fast. Now we are going to paint the top where the lid screws on. Now we are going to make dots with the puffy paint. You can use any design, but I'm going to do rings of dots on the CD. First, I'm going to take my orange puffy paint and shake. It. And just start doing rings of dots. to blue, but I am going to start doing the rings from now on in the middle, going outwards. Shake it, and then start with your next color. Alrighty, I am now done with my ring, so I'm going to move on to puffy paint on the mason jar. I'm just going to do randomized dots of the same color colors I did on the bottom. So the entire thing will match and look good. The finished product. Now let me go get some flowers to put in the vase. Ta-da!